Top Secret Psi Operative Training Mission Introduction to Matter Mission Understand that everything is made up of tiny particles of matter that can combine in many different ways. Tips Remember to beam as you read through the passage below. Hey, Aki! The materials you ordered for our armor have arrived. Why do you need so many different metals? All I want is whichever one will be the best at shielding me in battle. Wait until you see the armor I'm working on now. The hive won't stand a chance. Metals are types of elements, and the reason there are so many different metals to choose from is because they all have different properties. We never know which will come in handy in different circumstances. What do you mean by elements? To understand elements, first you need to understand matter. Matter is anything that has mass and take up space. Anything you touch, eat, or drink, and even the air you breathe, is made of matter. An element is a type of matter that is made up of one type of atom. There are 118 different elements that make up everything you see around you. These elements are organized in the periodic table of elements. Check it out! This diagram shows what the periodic table of elements looks like. Check out all the metals that can be used for your armor. They are shaded in blue. Wait a minute. Everything on this planet is made from the elements on this periodic table? Well, not everything. For example, light and forces are not made of matter, but any solid, liquid, or gas that you interact with is matter. The gases you put in your laser are made of matter, but the laser that comes out is not, since it is an electromagnetic wave of energy. Does that make sense? Okay, I think I get it. The only thing I don't understand is how there are 118 different elements that make up all matter, but there are way more than 118 different types of solids, liquids, and gases. Great question. Elements combine and create different compounds. For example, water is a compound made of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. Have you ever heard someone call water H2O? This is because water is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. If water is made up of hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms, does that mean water is not an element? Correct! Each element is made up of one kind of atom. Atoms are the smallest unit of matter that have the characteristic properties of an element. Think of atoms as the building blocks of all matter. You can see this in the building blocks of matter diagram. Atoms are first because they are the smallest unit of matter. Atoms then make up elements, so they come next. Elements combine to make up all matter, which makes up everything. Okay, let me get this straight. Every object around us is made of matter. Matter is made of elements that are combined in lots of different ways to make compounds. The elements themselves are made of tiny particles called atoms. Each element's atoms are unique. Yes, that's perfect. All elements have different properties, and some are better than others at protecting ourselves from the hive's weapons. Do you want to see my newest prototype? It's made with platinum, element 78. I can't wait to test it out next time we're in the field. Thanks, Aki. Make connections. In each box below, write a connection between the text you just read and either your prior knowledge or something in your life. Reading Comprehension Questions Introduction to Matter Number 1. Each box on the periodic table represents an blank, which is made of tiny identical particles called blank. Number 2. Matter is anything that has which two properties? A. B. Number 3. On the diagram of Nicole's laser emitter, Write on the provided lines if each labeled part is made of matter or not made of matter. The blank on the upper left points to the handle. 
The blank in the top middle is electricity from the battery. The blank on the top right points to the laser. The blank on the bottom indicates helium gas. Number four. For each pair of items, identify if they have the same properties by writing S or different properties by writing a small triangle on the blanks provided. The triangle shape is the Greek letter delta, which represents change or difference. A. Aluminum foil and aluminum soda can. B. An iron British penny and a copper U.S. penny. C. Nitrogen gas in the air and condensed liquid nitrogen. D. A steel railroad track and a steel ball bearing. E. A helium gas filled balloon and an argon gas filled balloon. Number five. Explain how atoms are able to make up all matter. Number six. Fill up the boxes below with pictures of things that are and are not matter. Make sure to label each of your pictures.